2020, a Nigerian official accused of misusing government funds came up with a clever way of avoiding having to answer any difficult questions about the matter. He decided to just fake fainting, which you're seeing in the video next to me as we speak. Um, so the story is getting a lot of attention now, even though this incident occurred back in 2020. It was posted recently by Africa and Focus Online. Here's some background on what happened. So the Nigerian House of Representatives were holding a hearing about the Niger Delta Development Commission, during which they grilled its acting managing director, his name is Daniel Pondai, about possible corruption and financial misappropriation. Okay. That's Daniel Ponzi. No, it's not Ponzi. <laughs> it's I'm kidding. Ponzi scheme. I, yeah. All right. No, but I get it. I get it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So um, <laughs> they were pressing him on the matter, right? Uh, on where money intended for development projects went, uh, where he was spending it. And at, at that point, he faked the faint. And you're about to see it in this video. Let's take a look, keep our mics up, and we'll narrate, give you our expert narration here. Let's watch. So there he is. He's just. Oh, I see. Like over a million bucks. I'm fainting. So is that I'm what fainting. Joe Biden does at every public event? Is it fake fainting or is he just like literally falling asleep and taking a nap? <laughs> the original Joe Biden. Yeah. There he is. Sleepy. So, no, but sleepy panda. This is where it gets better, okay? Everyone's like, "Oh my god, he's fainting. We must help him. We must help him." So that guy's shaking him. My favorite is the guy in the gray suit <laughs> who runs <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> what are you doing? What? I'm like, Look at him. He's like, "Okay, okay, I'm not actually fainting. Get off of me. Get off of me." <laughs> Okay, that's probably a reason why he's doing that. Really? What's the reason? I don't even, the doctors and nurses write and tell us why he's doing that. But I know from now on, if I think anyone's faking anything, I'm gonna go right for the mouth. Oh no, goodness! My one opportunity to, I mean, what was that? Maybe he's one of the guys who got ripped off and he's like, oh, he faded. Oh, good. Step aside, everybody. I got this some bitch. The only time it's ever acceptable to do that to another living thing's mouth uh -huh. is if your dog decides to pick up some rotting food on the sidewalk and try to ingest it during your your walk. That's that's the only time it's okay to. What is why why what, what's going on with that? I actually rather than having the misappropriator um, <laughs> investigated for misusing funds. I want that other guy to be investigated <laughs> for what he's doing to that poor guy's mouth. So two other We're watching you, bro. Okay, We all see you, what are you doing? First of all, look at how close he gets. Look at how close he gets. I he's thought for so a into it. Yeah, I was like, like, oh yeah, baby. I was like, is he gonna give him mouth to mouth? I didn't understand what was gonna happen. I'm like, are you supposed to give mouth to mouth when someone faints? I didn't know that was a thing. Right? He's, like, but he's like, this is a golden opportunity. That's not even mouth to mouth. I'm not gonna miss this opportunity. And he's like almost putting his head in there. Okay, but the second thing that I loved was after that guy mangles his mouth for a couple of seconds, <laughs> finally, the guy's like, okay, fine, fine, I didn't faint. And you see totally, his hand. You see he's like, okay, I didn't faint. Jesus, make like, this get, guy get stop. Get off of me, get off of me. Oh my God. So I just stole the money, I'm sorry. <laughs> so there's waterboarding, that's fingerboarding. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Pondai was allegedly sick before the incident, which added a little bit of weight to his fake fainting. Mm -hmm. um, but according to a statement signed by the commission's spokesperson, Charles Odili, Pondai had been sick for the past two weeks and ignored his doctor's advice when he appeared at the investig investigative hearing. He said that Pondai was concerned that not appearing before the committee would be seen in public as an admission of guilt, and he wanted to clear his name by showing up and faking a fainting session. Like, <laughs> I think what happened was that, like, he fainted at a particularly bad time for him. Like, so he shows up, and then they present the receipts, and he didn't expect it to go like that. Apparently, so he's like, "Oh, I, ooh, that's uncomfortable." Looks like they have a lot of evidence. The guy over there is like, finally, I get my chance. Voila! <laughs> and then the mouth, go, go, go. <laughs> I, I don't.
don't know. Look, and now the guy's like a back masseuse waiting yeah, yeah. to happen. Yeah, yeah, look at him. He's How like, oh, he yeah, back rub. Let me give you a back rub. He's fainting. <laughs> Why the back massage? <laughs> Someone's giving him a handy. They're like, I don't know. We're trying. We're trying. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? You like that? Oh, I'm a little you want to steal a million dollars? You saw me? <laughs> Take a couple of figures of the mouse, see how you like it then. So, um, <laughs> hypothetically, the gentleman inserting his thumb into the fake fainter's mouth was trying to prevent the man from biting his tongue in case of a seizure. Oh, so I there see. could be some use to that. See. In reality, though, you should never put your hand or anything in uh, someone's mouth if they are having a seizure. <laughs> and if his uh, fainting was indeed fake, it still didn't do him much good. After the incident, with the assistance of a police officer, the failed maligner uh, was led from the room. The official was charged with stealing a lot of money. Uh, 1.28 million dollars in, in American money. Yeah, malingerer. Malinger, uh, yeah. Meaning All thief. Right. You guys, okay. you guys get the point. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which is that Anna needs glasses. Okay. Uh <laughs> what did I say? Uh, you said it doesn't matter. It oh, doesn't okay. Matter. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. So really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.